Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Leon County Today with Sheriff Walt McNeil. Sheriff, good to see you this morning. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you. I am eager to talk about this subject here we're talking about today. One of my passions yes. is uh, trying to make sure we get people who are formerly incarcerated back in our community doing a whole lot better than they were previously. So I'm excited about this program. Right. We've talked a lot about our detention facility and, and, and even the, from the renaming early on in your administration from a jail to a detention facility and what that means. And today we're talking about our RISE Center, which is a, a very big part of making that recidivism rate, uh, make an impact on that. Oh, absolutely. People don't realize that that almost every person that goes to prison they come back. Mm -hmm. And even more so when you start talking about our detention facility, they're only detained. Right. And I want to put emphasis on detained for a short period of time. And oftentimes nothing happens during that period in which they're detained and mm -hmm. with us. So what we, what we try to do in the Land County Sheriff's Office is to make sure we can get into those crevices where the problems are and the issues that, that brought them to our detention facility and see if we can't work those out when they come back into our community. Hopefully better than when they first came in. That's the whole idea is draw, driving down that recidivism rate, which also drives down crime. Absolutely. So what do you say to those naysayers who say we shouldn't be investing all this money into uh, programs that are doing this? They're in uh, the detention facility for a reason and let them sit there. It was the Mako man that said, uh, <laughs> pay me now or pay me later. Exactly. Uh, that's, the, that's the equation here. Yeah. Either we can pay, for, we're going to pay for this in either way, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And it's less costly to pay for it on the front end as opposed to on the back end. It costs so much more to keep a person in prison or in our detention facility than it does to get them jobs, get them the kind of resources, get the education components going, reunite, reunite them with their families. That's more cost effective than keeping them locked up. Absolutely. No question. No question. No question at all. And today's program is really about informing the public, first of all, um, about these services because the services aren't just for those who are getting out tomorrow or within the, but if you have come through the system, these services are available. So today we're going to talk about what those services look like as well as how people can take advantage of Absolutely. them. Absolutely. A person goes to prison, they have to come back to the Leon County Sheriff's Office in this community mm -hmm. and report that they're back in the community. What greater time and what greater opportunity is it right then and there that we start to have those interventions take place? I'm excited about today's program. All right. Well, we're going to get to it in just a minute. So be sure to stick around. We're going to talk today about helping returning citizens rise. That's coming up. But first, let's check in with Sergeant McMillan with our Crime Tip Tuesday. Hello, everyone. This is Sergeant Shade McMillan with the Leon County Sheriff's Office. And here's today's Crime Tip Tuesday. Windows are one of the main ways a burglar might access a home. Windows are easy entry points because they are often left open or unlocked. Here are some safety reminders when it comes to windows on your home. Close and secure all windows at night and when you are not home. Screens and storm windows can offer added protection. Make sure all locks on your windows work properly. If not, replace them. Use a secondary blocking device. Insert a pin or nail above a window or on a track to limit the window from being lifted. Adhere decals or stickers announcing an alarm system or a neighborhood watch program on main windows. Stay safe out there. Joining me now is the LCO Director of Reentry and Inmate Services, Larry Bardot. Larry, we're talking about our RISE Center. Today we're approaching our one year mark for the center which started in July. For those who don't know, tell us what the RISE Center is all about. Well, thank you, Sheriff, and thank you for having me. The RISE Center, our reentry innovative services through empowerment, also known as RISE, uh, opened back in July of 2021. And uh, under your leadership and your vision, uh, what we're trying to do is take service providers. And oftentimes, you know, Sheriff, uh, we have very well-intended service <laughs> providers that do wonderful work, but oftentimes that they're working in silos. Uh, the second reason why we would do this and bring them all together to like a one-stop shop is uh, one of the barriers that our um, formerly incarcerated individuals uh, uh, have is transportation. So if they have several different needs and those needs are miles and miles apart, it creates unnecessary barriers for them to get those uh, services that they need. So taking all that into consideration, the RISE Center was developed to bring all those service providers that provide services most needed by our transitioning uh, formerly incarcerated individuals and in order to help make it better for them to have successful transitions. 
Larry, tell us about, tell us about the services offered, and I'd, I'd like to know specifically about the SPIRIT program, the SPIRIT portal, as you call it. Yes, absolutely. So um, we offer all different kinds of services, but what we do, the SPIRIT um, uh, referral system, it's an intelligent referral system that we use to ensure that every person who needs a service uh, ends up getting that service. Uh, so we'll, in essence, take, take a person, let's say they need uh, transportation and counseling when they're transitioning out. We can actually do a referral. We have all those uh, service providers that we have there at the Rise are also contained in our, um, in our portal within Spirit. We can do a referral to them and that ensures that the case management, the acceptance of the referral, that just ensures that the person who needs the service, we can track and make sure they get the service. Um, so you ask what kind of services do we, do we have and do we offer? We offer ID, um, uh, document assistance, you know, somebody trying to get a job that as they're transitioning out, they are, they're able to, uh, we're able to help them uh, get an ID or some kind of um, right. form of government ID. We help them with employment assistance, resume building, interviewing skills, job placement, uh, temporary housing solutions, uh, substance abuse, um, mental health. We even have legal services. Uh, money management, counseling, healthcare access. Uh, we have family reunification efforts, and uh, we also have free video visitations uh, for loved ones who want to meet with uh, with their loved ones who are currently incarcerated in our facility. Now, regarding the Spirit Portal you talked about, uh, how can those service uh, social service organizations? become a member of our spirit. Is there a limit on the number? No, there is not a limit on the number. And, and I tell you, Sheriff, the best thing that they could do is reach out to uh, either myself or Miss Logan, uh, Miss Logan, the program supervisor, uh, and we will be glad to get them uh, to come aboard. What we do is we just do initial interview with the uh, with that provider, find out exactly what kind of services they want to provide. Uh, and we have uh, some very short uh, forms that they fill out. Um, we provide all the training and Sheriff, the best thing about this is it's free. Absolutely, that is important, Larry, that, that it's absolutely free for both the uh, person receiving our, our services and those social service organizations. So tell us what, what, uh, what does the person need to bring uh, when they come to our, our RISE Center? Sheriff, they just need to bring uh, a mindset uh, that our services that we will provide will meet them where we're at at that moment. I, I, want, I want the public to know if you're struggling, you, you need assistance, don't do it alone. Trust us, come to our center, uh, and, and come with the mindset that people can and do change, and we want to help them with that. Well, thank you, Larry. Really appreciate the great work you're doing. Coming up, just how successful has the RISE Center been? We'll talk more. Stay tuned. We're back with LCSO Director of Reentry and Inmate Services, Larry Bardot, talking about LCSO's RISE Center, our continuum of care for individuals released from our detention facility. Larry, how successful has the center been so far? So, Sheriff, since July of 2021, when we opened, we've served 174 clients at the RISE Center. Um, we have either referred or provided 612 resources. Uh, we've had 357 free video visitations from loved ones to be able to talk to their loved ones okay. uh, who are incarcerated. And on average, what that means for us is each client is receiving between two and three of those resources that we talked about uh, earlier. So, so who can receive services from our RISE Center? So that's a great question. Um, anyone who's been justice involved, but I'll define that here as saying anyone that comes from our detention facility, anyone that comes from the Florida Department of Corrections uh, facility and is returning to live, work and play in, in Leon County, uh, same for uh, the federal correction system, uh, as well as uh, Department of Juvenile Justice. So anyone who has, uh, who is formerly incarcerated 
and, and is in need of those services uh, as it relates to their transition back into uh, the community, we want you to come to the RISE. So persons released from prison coming back to our community have to go through the RISE Center, is that right, or come to the Sheriff's Office? Well, they do. They'll have to come, and, and this is a, another great partnership to, to talk about now, uh, that the Florida Department of Corrections is looking to have a, uh, their a footprint at the rise uh, with their probation officers. So well, this is really becoming that one-stop shop that we talked about uh, to where they can come and check in with their probation officer. They can then get the services that they need and they don't have to travel miles and miles due to their uh, um, uh, transportation issues. Now, Larry, what kind of help uh, do we need from our community and particularly from our business community here in, in Tallahassee County? Yeah, so from our business community, um, I, I really want to talk about the All in Leon Business Pledge and, and business owners, right? So um, what we want is if you're a business owner in the business community, uh, because jobs is so important, and you are willing to offer employment opportunities to our formerly incarcerated individuals, I want you to contact myself or Ms. Logan and take that pledge. That pledge simply says when you have an employment opportunity that you would consider hiring one of our formerly incarcerated individuals. We also have the Thousand Jobs for Youth where we're encouraging any business owner that has that opportunity to provide that to, um, to our youth, that employment opportunity, because you and I both know, Sheriff, that employment is vital to the success of someone not recidivating when they come out and transitioning. Yeah, no question. So if I'm a business person, I'd like to know what success have you already had? So can you talk about some success stories so our business people can, can see why they need to join Absolutely. in Absolutely, and, and Sheriff, this is a great time to talk about Christina Wood that uh, they're gonna see here. Uh, so stay tuned for the next segment because that's a perfect example of someone who was struggling with addiction and had hit rock bottom. And we have so many of these stories and hers is very unique because her, uh, all the various things that come with substance abuse, she had issues with uh, her family, uh, she was uh, you know, laid off, didn't have employment, just uh, all around had hit rock bottom. When she came to the rise, um, she was one of those people that we're talking about to come with that attitude that there is hope uh, and you can do this. Um, and now, You'll hear from, uh, you'll see that success story uh, to where she's, she's got back together with her family, she's been employed, just holistically she's, she's facing those demons that she's faced with the substance abuse. And we've got a lot of those stories where people come for those wraparound services and their, their family dynamic and, and their whole well-being is so much, uh, so much more healthy. Larry, 30 seconds or so, tell our viewers how they can get in touch with the RISE Center and how they can get involved. Absolutely. So you can call the RISE Center at 850-274-6187. You can also visit our Leon County Sheriff's Office website. You can go in the All In Leon tab. All In, there you go. All In Leon tab. <laughs> And uh, you can go to the bottom and click on inmate, uh, inmate programs or reentry and get all kinds of information. And we are located at 2966 Municipal Way, right next to the Leon County Sheriff's Office main building. Thanks, Larry. Coming up, one of our Rise Center clients shares how the program changed her life. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Leon County Today with Sheriff Walt McNeil and what a full show, Sheriff. I think uh, hopefully our viewers out there hearing about the RISE program, if they know someone who needs those services, they're going to call them up today. Yeah, if you want to help the Leon County Sheriff's Office and help this community, mm -hmm. this is a place to plug in and, and get engaged in terms of how we can uh, drive crime down, how we can improve the quality of life for our community. And not only that, just to know that you've got uh, uh, persons who've gone through our detention facility and have come out on the other side and are now given testimonials wow, yeah. about how their life was changed. Uh, and it speaks volumes in terms of what, what this community is all about. It's about helping people in those circumstances. And we can't do this. Lynn County Sheriff's Office certainly can do what we're doing without support of all those uh, businesses out there and the chambers. All three chambers in, in Leon County is behind these efforts that we're putting together in terms of returning people to our community better than when they came into our detention facility. 
And, and that's a game changer here in our community, absolute game changer. Yeah, and hearing Christina's story is so inspiring, the yes. fact that she took advantage of those services and it has truly made all the difference in her life. And I think, you know, sometimes there's a stigma attached to individuals after they've been incarcerated. You know, I was talking with um, one of our partners um, um, at, with ALSCO, and he was saying about how they have hired numerous individuals through the program and how hard worker, um, how much of a hard worker they are and dedicated. And so I think, you know, just giving a shot, some people really can uh, make a difference. Now, I'll never forget, uh, Shonda, I was at the service station getting gas one day, and this guy pulls up and he's looking at me and he's got tears in his eyes and he gets out of the car and he comes over and shakes my hand and, and says, you know, uh, I used to have a different opinion about people who were formerly incarcerated mm -hmm. until my daughter was arrested. She was a Taylor teller in one of our banks here and she was arrested for uh, some things. But the fact of the matter is we make a difference mm -hmm. and community needs to understand that every person that gets incarcerated isn't a bad person. Right. They did something that was bad, but they can be redeemed. And that's what this, this initiative is all about. Being all in. All in, absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much, Sheriff. And thank you all for watching for today's show. We'll see you back here next week.